It helps keep your muscles strong and your bones from breaking, but most Americans don't get enough vitamin D. A substantial proportion of the population uh, may well have what we would call either vitamin D insufficiency, where it's kind of borderline low, or frank vitamin D deficiency. Mayo Clinic's Dr. Sundeep Kosala says exposure to sunlight is the easiest way to get vitamin D. Generally, 30 minutes a day does the trick, but that can be tough for a lot of people, especially during the winter, so food and drinks can help fill the gaps. Most dairy products these days are fortified with vitamin D, as are some other items like orange juice. But Dr. Kosala says vitamin D-filled food options are limited. For many people, taking a vitamin D supplement is perhaps the best way to ensure adequate vitamin D amounts. But recent studies show excessive vitamin D supplements might lead to kidney and heart issues, an increase in fractures and falls, and even certain types of cancer. The bottom line is you need to get enough vitamin D. 600 to 800 units is probably enough. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Ian Roth.